Human history and evolution is one of the most fascinating topics to learn about. When scientists discover something new that helps tell the stories of our ancestors and how we got to where we are today, it can be a pretty big deal. Some new discoveries are cool and others can be pretty strange. Today we're getting weird as we count down the top 10 bizarre discoveries about ancient extinct humans. At number 10, First Americans. 2021 brought us a lot of new discoveries. The study of ancient humans gained more information with the discoveries made last year. One of the bizarre finds from last year include footprints that are believed to have belonged to some of the first people to set foot in America. These footprints were discovered in muddy earth at the edge of a wetland in New Mexico and were very well preserved. After some research was done, it was found that these footprints were made somewhere between 21,000 and 23,000 years ago, which greatly pushes back the timeline of when humans came to the Americas, the last continent to be settled by humans. Up until this point, it was believed that the first humans arrived in the Americas around 13,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. These footprints, which are believed to have been made by children have scientists thinking that these humans migrated to the area during a time where sheets of ice blocked the passage to North America, indicating that they were there much earlier than previously thought. At number 9, Dragon Man. Now even though the name might not suggest it, no this is not a half man half dragon, but it's still a strange discovery. This past summer scientists discovered the skull of this new human species that they've named Homo longi. Longi being the Chinese name for dragon and dragon being a reference to the location that these remains were found since they were discovered by the Dragon River region in northeast China. The skull of the dragon man dates back 146,000 years and scientists believe that this new species belongs to another sister group of the Homo sapiens, so they're even more closely related to us than Neanderthals. What stunned researchers the most about this incredible find was the size of this being's skull because it was pretty big for a hominid from this time. This find opened a new avenue of discoveries for scientists, so that's exciting news for anyone who takes an interest in this sort of thing. I mean, with further research, who knows what we could learn from this find. Before we carry on talking about some more of these strange discoveries, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Ancient Fashion. In 2021, archaeologists made a discovery that gives us an idea of how ancient humans made clothing. It was always assumed that ancient humans used animal furs for clothing, but up until recently, not much was known about their fashion. With this newest find, scientists were able to figure out how clothing was made all those thousands of years ago. 62 bone tools were found in Morocco, and it's believed that they were used to process and smooth animal skins. This find may be the earliest evidence for clothing in the archaeological records. The bone tools that were found are believed to be between 90,000 and 120,000 years old and were used to work leather. What's fascinating about this find is the fact that similar bone tools are still used by leather workers even to this day, so it's cool to know that our ways haven't changed much over the years. At number 7, Gobekli Tepe. The Neolithic era was the final period of the Stone Age where early humans began the process of domestication of animals and agriculture. For a long time, scientists believed that this era gave way to the process of holding rituals and creating monuments to their beliefs. But with the remarkable discovery of Gobekli Tepe, that entire idea was rewritten as this mysterious site suggested that early hunter-gatherers made this temple as a ritualistic center far before these individuals decided to create settlements and begin the agricultural revolution. Based on evidence found at this site that dates 6,000 years older than Stonehenge, groups of hunter-gatherers came to this site in Urfa, Turkey some 11,500 years ago, and carved out this ritualistic site out of the limestone that covered the area. It is believed that Gobekli Tepe was just a stopping point for these early humans. It was a place to meet, hold feasts, and then leave again. Soon enough though, the desire to regularly hold these gatherings prompted the early humans to domesticate plants and animals to have a more dependable food source. So with this in mind, it is believed that these rituals are what gave way to the agricultural revolution, not the other way around. If you've seen any content regarding Gobekli Tepe, then you would know how eerie and mysterious this site looks, and because it's so old, it holds so many secrets that we have yet to uncover. At number 6, Cave Paintings 
I think that out of all the things left behind by our ancient ancestors, cave paintings are one of the most bizarre. So many archaic art pieces have been found by scientists over the years, from statues to ceremonial pieces, but cave paintings are by far the most fascinating, at least in my opinion. Much like modern art, it is all up to interpretation, especially since the artists who created these cave masterpieces are long gone. Some of the most mysterious cave paintings are those that depict some kind of alien life forms. Yep, I said aliens. Even back in the days of the early humans, Homo sapiens have been looking to the stars or even having their own encounters with extraterrestrials. One such depiction of alien life comes from the Wangina cave paintings. These eerie looking paintings depict these sky beings, as they were called. These beings are depicted with white faces, devoid of a mouth, large black eyes, and a head surrounded by a halo or some kind of helmet. According to legend, the Wangina were sky people or spirits from the sky who descended from the Milky Way and created Earth and all of its inhabitants. The Wangina realized how big a task their creation was, and so they sent for more of their people and spent their time creating, teaching, and being gods to the people of Earth. Eventually they left, either descending into the water or returning back into the stars. This extraterrestrial discovery has to be one of the most bizarre finds from our ancient ancestors. At number 5, Mass Extinction this one might be a little sad because we're going to talk about how scientists determined just how much destructions humans caused in the early days of humanity. While humans were evolving in Africa, the rest of the world's creatures were thriving for the most part. In many parts of the world untouched by human influence, there were megafauna. These megafauna were able to live and thrive for thousands of years, at least until Homo sapiens came along and ruined everything. As we started to traverse the globe, creating settlements and beginning the story of humanity, we also, in the process, killed off most of this megafauna, causing a mass extinction of these creatures. This extinction event, which scientists have called the Holocene extinction, is still ongoing. Most of the largest animals to have have ever roamed the earth were wiped out around 80,000 years ago and went completely extinct by 10,000 years ago. Some scientists want to blame this on climate change, however in a lot of places, the timing of the first human settlements and the extinction of certain animals line up too precisely to completely excuse us from having caused damage to earth's megafauna. At number 4, Baby Burial Though it can be really sad, finding ancient burial sites can give researchers a lot of information about the culture of certain groups of ancient people. At a 34,000 year old hunter gatherer burial site near Moscow, archaeologists discovered the remains of two adolescent boys and what they found alongside the remains was surprising. These two boys who looked to have had some kind of disability were buried like royalty. They were buried together along with 10,000 mammoth beads, more than 20 armbands, around 300 pierced fox teeth. 16 ivory mammoth spears, carvings, antlers, and human fibula laid across the chest of each child. Compared to the other adult burial sites, this one was quite lavish, but the reason as to why these two were buried with so much care is unknown. It is one of those mysteries from our history that remains unsolved, making it a bit of a bizarre find. At number 3, Old Settlement in an area of Kenya called Panga Ya Saidi, archaeologists discovered a network of caves that are believed to have housed hundreds of people. This cave area houses more than a thousand square feet of space, and it is believed that an ancient tribe used to call this place home. Inside this cave, archaeologists also discovered a collection of various stone tools that date back around 67,000 years. This was the ideal living arrangement for the ancient people who used to live there because the tropical climate of the area would have been good for survival, whereas other areas of Africa would have experienced drought. This discovery just helped further our understanding of how the early humans lived. At number 2, Homo floresiensis. Here's a really interesting species of human that has recently been discovered. Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit, were ancient hominids who lived in Indonesia around 100,000 to 50,000 years ago, and as you could probably guess by its nickname, these ancient humans were very small. It is estimated that they only stood about 3 foot 6 on average and weighed just over 60 pounds. Homo floresiensis also had tiny brains, large teeth, shrugged forward shoulders, had no chins, and had receding foreheads. So they definitely did not look like the rest of us humans. So far, the remains of these humans have only been found on the island of Flores, Indonesia, and because of that, scientists believe that this species of human was subjected to island dwarfism, an evolutionary process that occurs from long-term isolation on an island with limited food. This island also has pygmy elephants who are also extinct. 
What's pretty cool though is that scientists are currently exploring new evidence that might suggest that Homo floresiensis might have already been small before arriving to the island. And finally at number 1, Ancient Music. When you think about ancient humans, you might not associate them with art or music as they were quite primitive, but it turns out that some of our human ancestors were quite musically inclined. Years back, scientists discovered the first evidence of musical instruments in Germany and Slovakia. In 2008, archaeologists in Germany found flutes made from mammoth ivory that date back around 40,000 years ago, and just a few years before that, in 1995 in Slovakia, researchers found other flutes made from the thigh bones of cave bears which dated back around 60,000 years. The Slovakian flutes were the oldest musical instruments ever found and they were made by Neanderthals. This opened up a whole new world of discovery for scientists as this find suggested that these ancient people were able to comprehend concepts like rhythm, tempo, and melody. This also suggested that Neanderthals were much more intelligent and sophisticated than we thought. Before we wrap things up for today, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me what you thought the most bizarre discovery from this list was. There's lots to choose from, so leave me your thoughts down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, Brie Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay sweet, bumblebees. Cool beans. Let's talk about some ancient stuff. In an area of Kenya called Panga Sa. <laughs> okay. And human fibula. Later, oh my, come on. Strange this, ugh, ha ha.